This is the third in a series of videos on how to centralize your IT service experience through AtBot. If you haven't watched the first two videos, you probably should. You can find a direct link to the playlist in the description below. In this video, we're going to cover how to incorporate Microsoft's Language Understanding Intelligent Service offering, also known as LUIS, to automatically triage what the user needs based on their natural wording choice. In the last two videos, we kicked off AtBot skills with specific keywords or phrases. But it's not realistic to expect users to memorize a list of keywords to get things done. Lewis fixes that. The prerequisites for this video are the same as the last ones, so friendly reminder if you haven't watched the earlier videos, you probably want to. But if you forgot, you'll want service accounts to both ServiceNow and Microsoft Flow, and licenses for AtBot Enterprise for every user who will be accessing ServiceNow through AtBot. And new to this video, you'll want to browse to lewis.ai and sign up with your Office 365 or Azure account. You get 10,000 Lewis calls per month for free with any paid Microsoft account, which should last you a while. So what does language understanding do? Put simply, it translates the organic variations of human speak into the structured form of machine speak. To kick off our previously built skills, you'd have to know exactly the right phrase to execute the workflows. But that's unrealistic. In the real world, people will phrase new ticket however they feel is appropriate for the context. Same goes for close ticket and update ticket, a new skill we've included for this demo. Once the user sends their request to AtBot, we need something to interpret that. And AtBot integrates natively with Lewis. Lewis will take the human phrasing, understand the intent, and trigger the correct skill. Lewis breaks down into three simple parts. First, you have apps. Each app is basically a dictionary or a phrase book for a different bot. The app contains all the intents the bot should know. While it's not a hard requirement, it's definitely a best practice to keep one app per bot. Additional apps can cause overlap and confusion within your bot. Then, apps are built from intents. Each intent is, well, an intent. AtBot will take a different action based on the intent. Each AtBot skill can have one intent, but no more. It doesn't really make sense to kick off multiple skills from one intent. And finally, each intent is built from utterances. Each utterance is a different way to say the intent. When you get into building utterances, each intent is required to have at least five utterances. Lewis actually creates fuzzy connections between the utterances, so a mismatch of a verb or noun here and there won't kill the efficacy of the intent. We'll show you more on that in a bit. So with this demo, we're going to create three intents, each with at least five utterances. We're going to connect these intents to the skills we previously created, plus a new one I've prepared to cover updating certain fields in an existing ServiceNow ticket. So our intents are open, update, and close a ticket. The current key phrases shown are the only way to kick off these skills. Lewis will fix that for us. As I compile a list of utterances, one of my first stops is always a thesaurus. You want to list out the key words and phrases that would be used for the intent and find any similar words so Lewis can be introduced to them. So for example, with new ticket, we probably want synonyms to ticket or issue. Words like problem and incident make sense. We'll do the same for open, update, and close. Plus, it would make sense to include service now in some of the utterances. I took the results of my search and built a list of utterances for each of my intents in a document. You'll note that I'm not building each and every possible permutation. I don't need each verb and noun pair to be connected explicitly. Lewis is actually smart enough to make the connections. Same with service now. I've included it in a couple utterances, but not all. Each intent has at least five utterances, but preferably more. All right, now let's jump into Lewis. I'm gonna to go to lewis.ai, L-U-I-S.ai, and I'm going to log in, and I'm gonna create a new app. I'm gonna call this app the IT Service Desk, and provide a little bit of a description there so that anybody else that looks at this has an idea of what it does. And from here, I'm gonna create new intents. So I'm gonna make my first intent, and this is going to be the Create Ticket intent. And from here, I'm going to pull over my, my Word doc so I can see all the different utterances that I created. I'm going to start typing in the first one and then just press Enter. Lewis actually does not take into account caps, so you don't have to worry about that. And you'll see as I add these one by one, they get added to a list. And I can make changes. You can see there's a checkbox there. I can play around with them later on, but I really just want to create them right now, get them going. And when I'm done, I'm going to click Train. So it's not until you train your intent that it actually knows all the utterances. 
And now I'm going to go through and I'm going to create the next two intents, which would be update and close ticket. And once I finish creating these and then training them, I have to publish them. And I'll go through that in a second. But once it's published, then it's accessible to me through any Microsoft Teams bot, but uh, specifically in this case to AtBot. Okay, then I finished closed ticket and I trained it. And I'm just going to show you real quick, each of these utterances get a score. And you can see that it's actually looking at the three different intents. So the higher the score, the more likely when somebody uses a phrase like that, the more likely it will end up pulling that intent. And you want to make sure that they are very close to one and that they're not really competing. And then all you have to do is go to the Publish tab, click Publish, and you're good to go. Now we're going to connect each of our skills to their respective Lewis intent. I'm going to go to Settings in Lewis and grab my authoring key. That's how AtBot's going to know which Lewis intent to pull. And I'm going to go into the Create Service Now Incident skill. I'm going to open up the first step. And before we had new ticket, but now I can actually put in my Lewis API key. This is that authoring key, and I'm going to paste that in there. Once I paste it, AtBot gives me the option to choose the app I want. So I'm going to choose the IT Service Desk, and then the Create Ticket Intent, Update the Flow, all set. Next, I'm going to update the Update Service Now Incident, which is a new skill that I've created since the last video. I've actually provided the opportunity for the user to change two different things, either the urgency or impact of their ServiceNow ticket and the value of that ticket. I asked the user, do you want to change impact or urgency? And do you want to change it from high to low, medium to low, low to medium, and go through that. There's actually a condition in this, which I included so that if the field choice is impact, change the impact, else change the urgency. So you'll see on the impact side, it will change it to the field value, that new variable I provided, an urgency, same variable if it goes with urgency. And my response is going to be, I change this field choice to this field value, and that's it. So now I'm going to update the intent to use Lewis. And go back and update my closed service now incident and add Lewis as well. And so now all of my skills are connected to Lewis. Okay, now I'm gonna jump into Microsoft Teams and do some testing on this. So with these three skills are already connected to Ask IT, which is our custom at bot. And I am going to go ahead and open a ticket and I'm going to say, I want to report an IT issue. And before I send that, I'm actually gonna point out here, if I jump back to Lewis, this is my create ticket intent. I have no utterance here that actually says exactly what I'm gonna put in. So Ask IT is going to get back to me and start the ticket creation process. And I'm going to tell Ask IT that my email doesn't send notifications like it used to. So Ask IT is going to create that ticket for me. Give me a ticket number so that I have that in my records. So I am 383. If I jump over to ServiceNow and I refresh this page, I should see 383, and there it is. So if I open this up and scroll down, my description should be the issue that I have with my email not working correctly. I'm going to jump back to Teams and say, hey, this is really urgent for me, so I need to make sure that somebody looks at it as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna tell um, Ask IT, I need to change a ticket I have open. And again, this phrase does not exist anywhere in the Lewis intent. This utterance is not part of the update uh, word for word. Also, take note that I'm using the word open, which is one of the words that we use a lot in the create intent. So I'm going to send that to Ask IT, and I'm going to copy my number and see Ask IT knows you want to update the ticket, not open it, not close it, not do something else. I'm going to paste it in there, and Ask IT is going to pull the information about this ticket. and it's gonna ask me which field do I wanna update. This skill is reasonably simple. It only gives me the option of impact or urgency, but it's a good example. I'm gonna say urgency. And what level do I want it at? Well, right now it's at low, and you can actually see over to the right here that urgency and impact are both low. Well, I'm gonna change my urgency to high. And when I send that in, AtBot is gonna confirm that. 
make that update, and you actually see live to the right, the urgency just changed to high. Now let's say I'm all set with this. The IT team got back to me on my email notifications. Everything is working correctly, so I'm gonna say you can close that ticket of mine. Again, this phrasing is not anywhere in the utterances. It's picking and choosing words to make sure that they actually make sense. And Ask IT says, great, I'm happy to do that for you. What's the ticket number? And I'm gonna come back with the ticket number. And you'll see on the right, live, it will change from state new to state closed. And that is the entire process of running an IT ticket with Lewis adding such value and making all of us that much more productive and efficient. So that's the next step in how you can use AtBot as your single point of entry for your IT service desk. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more great AtBot, Flow, and Lewis information. And feel free to comment if you have questions. In our next video, we'll cover how AtBot can use Lewis to deal with users who are, well, let's just say less than clear about what they want to do with a ServiceNow ticket. Thanks for watching.